Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 12 of Photoshop for Photographers. Now you guys probably remember a couple episodes ago I showed how to swap out a sky in a landscape image. We did that using a selection. I got an email from a viewer and he said, how would I swap the sky out in an image like this? It's virtually impossible to do a selection like you did in episode 10. And I asked him, well, give me uh, the image and I'll show you how to do it. So he was kind enough to let me use his image. And I'm going to show you how you could swap the sky out in an image like this where there are a lot of tree branches and the, the, it's busy and the sky is peeking through the tree branches. What we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, image of clouds of mine. I took this maybe a year ago. So I'm going to take these clouds and I'm going to put them in that image. Again, we're starting out in Lightroom. Um, process the images like you normally would in Lightroom. When you're ready, we're going to send them over to Photoshop. So click on the thumbnail of either of the two images. Hold the Command or Control key in. That's the command if you have a Mac. Control key if you have a PC. And click on the second image. Now they're both selected. Right click on either of them. This menu pops up. Go up to Edit In. Then all the way at the bottom, Open as Layers in Photoshop to open. Really appreciate it. And all right, now they're open as layers in Photoshop and you can see we have a problem right off the bat. Um, the width and height of my cloud image is totally different than the width of height of the um, image of the trees. So what we want to do is we want to resize the clouds so they better fit the trees. So make sure you're clicked on the cloud layer and we want to go to free transform and the uh, hot key for that is command T or control T and you'll see these little handles come up. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust the width first. We're just going to drag this in so it's the same width as the um, tree picture and then as you can see down here there's blue sky even peeking in all through down here so we want to cover that up and maybe give it a little more uh, than that even so we're going to drag it to about there. So I'm happy with that. We're going to click the checkbox and that's all set. Now we have another issue. We have all this transparent pixels over here. So we want to get rid of that. So go to image, trim, and based on transparent pixels and click OK. Now it got rid of all that. So we're all set there. Now we have the images sized the correct way. Now we need to blend them somehow so these clouds come through and we can still see the trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to uh, change the way the layers are. We're going to drag the tree layer on top of the cloud layer. Next, we're just going to double click on the thumbnail of the trees and you can see this layer style box comes up. Now, ignore everything else, just go down to where it says blend if and we're going to change that to blue because the sky is blue, right? Go to the top slider, this layer, and the slider on the right specifically, and watch over here. I'm just going to slide this slider to the left. And look at magically we have clouds. Now one thing though, as I slide it, you can see it's starting to affect the tree branches a little bit. And depending on your image, it might really affect them, it might not affect them at all. Um, in this image it's affecting them a little bit so I don't want that so all you gotta do if you look at this like slider handle it's uh, kind of like a triangle and it has a little line in the middle you could actually split this in half and how you would do that is you would hold the alt or option key in it's alt if you have a PC option if you have a Mac and then click on it while I'm holding that alt or option key in and I'm sliding now you can see it split it in half take that inner half and just slide that by itself and you could see it does a better job of blending and it's not really affecting the trees so you could slide it until you're happy with the um, the uh, blend then go up here to OK click OK <clears throat> now if you want to reposition the clouds at all go down to the cloud layer make sure you're on the move tool and then you could just drag the clouds around until you get them right where you want them and if you want to resize it, stretch them out again and stuff like that, you could just go back into Free Transform by hitting Command-T. Uh, but I like where they are now, so I'm really done. 
Uh, that's it. That's how you would um, swap out the sky in a very busy image such as this, where you really can't do an effective selection like I did in episode 10. Um, you guys have any questions always feel free to ask I'll do my best to answer them and again if you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel I'd really appreciate it that's it I'll talk to you guys soon